Hello, hello. Happy Tom Ford Tuesday, everyone. Where Tuesdays we dedicate to Tom Ford Beauty. I'm back with another holiday look since I know we've got our holiday events and all of the things coming up, this time with a red lip. I'm really excited because, you know, I'm a gloss or a nude lip girl, so <laughs> this is exciting. Um, if you haven't seen last Tom Ford Tuesday where we did a holiday look, but we kept the lip soft and neutral and not red, <laughs> But this time we're going to be doing red. Let's get into it, shall we? How are we? I hope we're doing well and we're ready for our holidays because I feel like once the holiday season comes, everything is just so fast and it's such a blur. <laughs> but I hope that we get to spend lots of time with family and not forget what this time and season is truly all about. So when it comes to holiday looks and holiday events and things like that, they're a lot in person. They're a lot up close and personal. So I pay special attention to the skin and I want to prep the skin and I want everything to be nice and hydrated. I want to feel really good. I want when someone sees me, yes, I'm wearing makeup, but they're seeing skin over makeup. So you're going to get that compliment of, oh, your skin looks good versus your makeup looks good. You know. <laughs> so let's do a little bit of skin prep. I'm still loving my Dr. Diamond's Insta Facial Collection. So I'm gonna go in with the plasma first and apply the serum. And I'm doing skin prep first because we're gonna work on the eyes. So I should be pressing this in. It's just habit that I rub things in and then I just take whatever is left, pat it on the under eye. So I just washed my face before I came and sat down. And yes, this is a look I will be wearing to another holiday event. I'm Not that I'm like practicing my holiday looks, because I don't usually practice them. I kind of just like come up with them in my head. But I want to share with you the realistic, you know, looks that I will wear to events and such. Um, yes, holiday look is allowed to be a little bit more dramatic. <laughs> But I still want to be sophisticated, approachable, wearable. And if you're a pro, you can do it. Or if you're a beginner, you can do it too. And that's also the best thing when it comes to Tom Ford eyeshadows and working with his products is they're very universally flattering, of course. And anyone can work with them. Let's go in with the emulsion, the other part of our Insta Facial from Dr. Diamonds. I cannot tell you how great. This has been with my skin. <laughs> of course, I'm still using my regular skincare stuff, but I like, you know, giving new things a try. Pat on the under eye. Yes, I still use eye cream, but ever since I became an Augustina Spotter Rich Cream girly, I just grew the habit of just patting whatever was left into my under eye and using that. And it's it's been working out pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Because again, with these holiday events, I'm always in front of someone talking to someone it's you know it's a very personal kind of thing and I want to feel really good about my skin and not feel like cakey and heavy so skin prep for things like this is a big deal <laughs> also lips uh, you know chronic dry lip girly hair I'm gonna go in with old faithful go to Dr. Dennis Gross the lip plumper serum let's get these lips nice and juicy and ready for my red lip for today you don't need a lot of this. You have to use like a little bit because if you go outside of the lines, my lips get so red because this works a little too good. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm just letting you know. I uh, I mean, sometimes it spreads. So it's really not much you can do, but yeah. Skin, lips, we're nice and prepped. Let's work on the eyes. So for today's holiday glam look, I want to do like a brown smoky eye and I was going back and forth between Desert Fox and Smoky Quartz. Desert Fox is just the traditional formula and it's three mattes and this golden shade and it's a nice brown, very easy for the everyday, but I felt like that wasn't enough. I felt like I wanted more. 
Okay, so we're going to go in with a creme formula. And this one is uh, smoky quartz. These, oh, the formulation on this is so, so, so outstanding. So, you know, let's. I'm going to prime my lids with my Emotion Proof Eye Primer. I'm going in with just a little bit of powder to set that primer before we go in with our shadows. Now, as you know, it's Tom Ford Tuesday. All the products that we talk about today, I'm trying to keep them all Tom Ford, but there are a few here and there. <laughs> so for the most part, the full face is Tom Ford. I'm going to have everything listed and linked down below in the description box for you. So let's dive on into smoky quartz and create our smoky eye look. Where's my brush? Tom Ford number 11. I'm going to start off by picking up this shade. Now again, this formulation, it's a creme formula. So it works like a traditional eyeshadow, but it's a cream powder. It's really a beautiful formula. And I really like it. So I'm just going to pat this on the outermost portion. Okay, and also directly in the crease padding. I'm not blending just yet. We're just working on our placement. Beautiful, right? And then now I will blend. These I find to be so super easy to work with. Very forgiving in the sense where if you're intimidated by doing smoky eyes because you feel like I can't do it it's not gonna look good it's too much I never am able to get it this is a formula that you want to use to kind of get your bearings it blends really nicely they're pigmented and very 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 beginner friendly or even the most of advanced so I just patted for placement and then we blend. Now with smoky eyes, usually it's a lot of back and forth, build, blend, build, blend. And I actually like that because it's a beautiful transformation. And I opted for a more brown smoky eye versus the black smoky eye or even a blue smoky eye. I don't know. I just find it to look a little better on me personally, and I feel more comfortable with a brown smoky eye. And I don't know, I feel like brown smoky eyes look good with red lips, but so do black. And a blue smoky eye actually looks really good with a red lip too. I've done a blue smoky eye with a red lip. I even shared a video, that was a long time ago though. <laughs> look how nicely that shade blends. And again, this formula, is one of my favorites next to the wet dry. Wet dry is still my ultimate favorite, but this is, this is pretty good too. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this Surratt brush here and I wanna go into this. This is the lightest shade in the palette. I'm just gonna build that up on the brush and I'm just gonna put this up on the brow bone area. This shade is really interesting. It's like a beige, gray beige. And I like that you can't really see it, especially with a brush like this. This is just for that soft diffusion of color. Um, but this looks really nice on the lid too. I've used it on the lid too. It looks really good. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with a, another Surratt brush. This one, let me tell you, I recently was gifted these brushes from Surratt, two of them. I feel like you could literally do all of your eye looks with just two, these two brushes. They are so soft, so super quality. Yeah, I've really been liking them. So let's go into this darkest shade. I'm just gonna build that on my brush. And this is what we're gonna use to get that nice smoky effect. So, so I've packed that darkest shade on my brush. I just give it a little one tap. The thing about these is there's not fallout, and that's what I love about this formula again, especially for the smoky eye approach. So what I'm gonna do is same thing I did before, we're just gonna pat, pat for placement, and then we'll blend. So 
chatting. I'm going to go in and pick up a bit more and just build it. The thing about a smoky eye is I want to keep it really just on the lid. I don't want to go too far up because when I blend, I'm just going to blend up anyways. So I'm just continuing to build up on the lid. This kind of looks black, this shade, but it's kind of like a super rich um, round black. And I think it's great. All right, so now that I've just placed my product, same brush, I'm gonna start to kind of go back and forth and blend the edges. Trust the process. <laughs> It looks a little crazy right now. And I'm opening my eyes and looking forward to match the shape. Because if I just go by the folds in my eyes, we'll be all the way down here. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. So, All right. Now we're going to go back into that number 11 from Tom Ford. And go into a little bit of the shade we have already in the crease. And this is what I'm going to use to blend my edges to get keep that smoky effect, but keep the edges nicely diffused. So you can see already over here, it's just placed. And over here, I just started to blend. So you can see that transition, that diffused effect. Nice. And again, this formula really makes things easy when doing so. So I'm just going to blend until I feel like it's good, you know. Blend so, so easily. Lightly continue to diffuse my edges. So after all of that blending, what I want to always make sure to do is close my eyes and make sure there are no like patches or anything I may have blended away. I do want to go back into this lightest shade here and I'm using that Syrah brush and just right up there by the brow bone area. Again, this is a very lightly uh, Brought lightly. <laughs> it's a very light brush. It diffuses product very nicely. So I'm just blending right there under the brow bone. Okay. Feeling pretty good about that. Making sure to look forward, making sure everything is pretty even. I think we're pretty even. I don't think we're one eye is higher than the other. That's the thing about a smoky eye. There's a lot of back and forth and perfecting and making sure everything's good, but I think we look good. I made sure to close my eyes and make sure I didn't blend away anything and touch up anything need be, but these shadows, the, this particular formula, it's really easy to work with and it blends really, really nicely. It really lets you look like you've done way more than you actually did. I like that the most. So again, from the most advanced to the beginner of beginners. This formula, the creme formulation from Tom Ford, especially when it comes to a smoky eye, because I know a lot of times a smoky eye can be intimidating. This, this is your little cheat sheet, your little hack, shall we say. Um, but we're going to come back to the eyes. I'm going to work on the base because I love when you're doing a smoky eye. Like, I feel like the base, when you clean everything up, it just brings it all together so, so nicely. So let's work on the base. We're going to keep it nice and skin, and then we're going to do that beautiful red lip because I have a couple of options when it comes to a red lip, too. I'm not really a red lip person, but I have a few that I feel we could kind of play around with and see as far as for our options. Let's prep the skin even more. This is the shade in Illuminate Primer. I typically need three full pumps of this. <laughs> Because my skin just, I guess it just really loves it. So it just drinks it up. But this is very light. And the texture and consistency is so beautiful, so comfortable. And it gives 
just the right amount of glow to the skin. And again, remember, we're going to be up close and personal at our holiday events or holiday parties. So we want our skin to look really good, feel really good. And hydrated skin is just that. Oh, yes. I have a question. Okay. And I know you'll have an answer. Let's do a little color correcting really quick. I see Tom Ford with products that look like they're color corrector, but I haven't seen them in person. And there's only three colors. And I don't know if I should get it, especially for the price. I don't know. That's like a complete blind buy. And usually I'm okay with blind buying Tom Ford. I mean, hello. But I'm not really sure about these two products. So tell me, has anyone tried these? I just don't know. I know, I know, I know. Hear me out though. <laughs> I know these seem to be being discontinued and certain places only have them in certain colors. We know the story. I did a whole video on it. We talked about it. They were on sale for $45, then they went back to not on sale, and then it's just limited with the colors. But I am going to go in with my Traceless Stick Foundation. I do use two colors. And remember, the skin is nice and hydrated and prepped really, really good, so I can go in with a little less coverage of a base product and still feel my absolute best. So what I do is I go in with 7.2 on the centermost portion of my face. Blend in with my Dior brush. This is number 18. Everything again is listed and linked down below. And then I'll go in with 7.7 .7 on the rest of my face. Usually, you know how much I'd highly dislike directly applying stick foundations to the skin. But the way my skin is prepped and this brush, it's beautiful. Oh, you can totally do it with no issues. Really hope to see Tom Ford bring back this stick formula. Just revamp it however you want, go ahead. <laughs> Just bring it back. <laughs> We're going to do our concealer cocktail. I used the Traceless Soft Matte Concealer first and then in, went in with the shade and illuminate. Sonia G Soft Concealer Brush. And this time, instead of blending it with my uh, sponge, I'm actually going to use my finger. Products blend so beautifully into the skin with your finger because it's your finger. The natural warmth, everything just melds everything in so effortlessly. Now I'm going to go in with the shade and illuminate. And with this, we're not going to use a lot of it. This gives you such good coverage and wears so beautifully while hydrating and giving that soft, luminous finish. It's such a beautiful product. I'm gonna blend with the concealer brush. Again, this is the soft concealer from Sonia G. This though, I will blend in with my sponge. And I also take my time to just clean up that outer eye area. Before I make any facial expression, let me set my under eye. Use an Old Faithful. A little shade and illuminate goodness. I feel like you can already see the look just coming together. <laughs> see, once you clean everything up, 
the smoky eye just looks so, so much better. Selinege Blush and Highlight Duo in High Altitude. I have been reaching for this a lot more than I thought I would. So let's go into the highlight first. Place that. And blush. I just kind of tap on my hand there before I go in so it's not too, 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 too intense. <laughs> Skin is giving skin. I love that so much. I'm going to go over top of everything just to lightly set everything in place with a very light layer of powder. In particular, this is my Lapri Caviar um, Loose Powder. So very, 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 very light layer just to set everything in place. This powder in particular is very skincare focused, so it doesn't take away too much from the skin. It just sets the products in place. The blush looks really pretty just like this, but I like this combo and I did it last time, so I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna go in with my blush. This is from Tom Ford. It's from the Love Collection. Um, it's called Love Scene. And I like how soft it is. So it just puts a little bit of flush back on the cheeks. This is really a perfect everyday blush. It's so soft and pretty. You can still see my skin. I'm gonna go in with the gel eyeliner from Tom Ford. This is in the shade Coco. Maybe we should sharpen her. <laughs> now with this, you do have some time to work with it before it sets. So I'm gonna immediately follow up with my Isom T05 brush and kind of smudge down just a little bit. And again, when these things set, that's it. They last all day. Back into our Smoky Quartz palette, let's go into this brown shade. Now remember, this is the shade we use to blend and diffuse at first crease and then use it to blend out the darkest shade. I picked up on that Surat brush and I'm going to blend this and smoke out the lower lash. You can also use this to hide some of your fine lines on your under eye, but you know, not, nothing too crazy, just like a little bit. Let's go in with a couple of coats of mascara. I'm gonna use my Chantecaille Faux Sils Longest Lash Mascara. They're currently doing the Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale, and I've got early access, so I'm gonna Put my code and the links will be down below if you want to save 25% on anything Chantecai. Look at this mascara. Mm, love it. <laughs> I think it can be like a little messy on the lower lash. You smudge it a little, that's okay too. It kind of adds to that grungy, smoky kind of effect. Like I'm waiting for the mascara to dry. I'm kind of like going back and forth with myself, but I think I want to do it. So let's do it. <laughs> I'm going to go in with that Surat brush. I did clean it off. Let's go into this lightest shade. I don't, it's not going to be a major effect type of thing, but I want to put that shade just on the inner portion of my eye. Sometimes when I use this palette, I like putting this shade just all over the lid. It's so soft, but I like the little effect. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Feeling good. <laughs> like the look really, really is coming together. And then now like here is the official finishing touch, a red lip. So again, I told you I had a couple of options that I wanted to share with you. A little sneaky peeky. First is the initial color that I said I wanted to use and go in with, which is the Scarlet Rouge. I don't have it in the full size. I have this little guy. I mean, it's still a lipstick and it's still the color. There's that. This one is, this is the effing fabulous red. It's crazy. You could have 10 reds and they're all different. You know what I mean? So this is truly one of those moments. This is a velvet cherry. This I don't know, would this be classified as a red? In my head I said yes, it's like a burgundy red. It's very deep. I said let's, let's. Okay. 
and then this. I don't like these, <laughs> but I want to use this. I'll show you how I'm going to use this just for longevity. And because at your parties, you're going to eat, you're going to drink, you're going to want your lip color to last and wear. And this has pretty good staying power, but I don't like how matte and drying it is personally, but not to say the product is bad or anything like that. Um, but this is the Liquid Lip Lux in the shade 129 Cardinal Red. This is a real pretty red, red color. It's pretty, it's pretty. We're gonna use that as base. I will just tell you right now, if I had to live with just one red lipstick for the rest of my life, it would be this one. The original red, red of reds. <laughs> this is from Louboutin. Louboutin. This is my favorite red lipstick and it's like the only one I use. These are so Bougie, I love it. Here it is. Look how creamy and gorgeously red. Oh, but it's Tom Ford Tuesday. <laughs> There's just something about wearing a red lip. You get like this instant confidence factor and you're just like, mmm, like take on the day. So let's finish up this look with a beautiful red lip. So I am going to go in with the Cardinal Red. And I'm just wiping off the excess off of the tip. Because the tip on these is actually really nice. I like using products like this to kind of line the lips and have more control. And this does good at that. You just have to clean off the excess. So let's. Now is the time if you make any mistakes to clean it up. Let that sit for just a moment. I'm going with another layer. Wipe off the excess. Let it dry. So we're gonna go in with the classic Scarlet Rouge. We've got that instant red lip factor. I'm feeling sassy. <laughs> and I feel like my uh, smile is just so much brighter and whiter. Our last look, it was glimmery and sparkly and very glamorous and a very toned down lip. But this one, we're doing a double. We're doing a Nice dramatic smoky eye and a nice bold red lip. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Happy Tom Ford Tuesday, everyone. Thank you so much for letting me share these holiday looks with you. Don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. Enjoy your holiday parties. I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.